going to teach you all the small things today. It's pretty simple. It's really easy. First, you're going to start off with with um, this power chord. Your bass note is going to be the third on the low E string, third fret, low E string. Then you're going to bar the t the next two strings A and D. So it'll be the power chord will be number three fret pointer finger low E string. The A string will be ring finger fifth fret. Then the D string will be ring finger fifth fret. So just bar it. <laughs> Just move down the same hand technique, same bar chord, just down step two. Bass note will be on the first fret of the low E string. Then on the A string, the third fret, D string, the third fret. And you're going to do that fast. Like That's the beginning. Then you're going to move on to this next part. You're going to move up a fret, up a string, and do the same thing, the same bar chord pretty much. So it will be, except this time the bass note will be on the third fret, A, then fifth fret D and then fifth fret G so you'll do it like this one two and this gives eight counts that gets eight counts so it's one two Then you're going to add your pinky to the 6th fret on um, the B string. Still doing that power chord, then add this little sound after the 8 count. Then that gets 8 counts. And you're just going to move back down to that first bar chord we did. And that gets 8 counts. Then you're going to dead the strings and hit it, strum it four times. And then you're going to go down to that second bar chord we did and strum it three times. Oops. And then you go straight back to this eight times. Apply your pinky. To the sixth fret, eight times, then move down to the first bar chord, three chords you can pretty much make it through the song. The next part you're going to go to the to the chord up here. First your pointer finger, third fret, A string, ring finger, your ring finger will be fifth fret, D string. You put your pinky, this is probably more comfortable, put your pinky on the fifth fret G string, and this part's going to be palm muted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then move down to the bar chord below it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then just 
screw down to the second bar chord we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after this one, you're going to move back up to this. So it'll be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Then, then when the saying ain't so, I will not go part comes, you're just going to strum this, this power chord. Pointer finger, third fret of the A, ring finger, fifth fret of the D, and then pinky, fifth fret of the G, and you're just going to strum and you're just going to let it go. Why he sings because the bass part's gonna cover that. So then you'll come back in with the you know that part. Then there's a little. Then after that, one time you're gonna do it's called octave chords. Well, I think that's what they're called. Now you're going to start with with your pointer on the third fret of the hmm, of the of the A string. Then this finger will be on the fifth fret of the D D string. No, G string. My bad. I'm having trouble with my strings today. Sorry. Um, then you're going to mute the D string with your middle finger. Just mute it. So you're just going to scoot up each time. This will be, we'll go by this, okay? Your fingers are still going to stay apart the same length that they are right now but you're going to move up then you're going to move this up to the 10 and the 8 then scoot down one fret and just keep going like that so I'll sound like this. And you just go back and back. the song but then there's this little solo section that's like yeah yeah it's just pretty much five five on the B and the G just back and forth between five and five Then about halfway through it, listen to the song to figure out when. You're going to switch to 5 and 4. The 5 being on the D string and the 4 being on the G string. Then you go back to Then you go back to Part, you're gonna dead mute the strings 
and strum it twice, then do the power chord. So it'll sound like this. So you're going to dead mute the strings, strum it twice, and then, then hit the power chord with the bass note being the one on the E string, and then pointer, ring finger, and then pinky on the three of the A and D. So it'll be. Then you're going to move up to the power chord with the bass note being the three on the on the A string. Don't dead me that one, just hit it. So it'll sound like this. Then with distortion at the end, it's gonna sound like this once you get it. 